YouTube. So this is BUCW721 coming at you live. So today I am I don't know if you can see that but that's the bench right there. That a bar. Uh-huh. Just take a look at this real quick. I'm gonna try to see how much weight I'm benching. I'm exactly not sure. Um but you know, whatever. So we're not really gonna count how much I'm gonna bench. But the most I can bench right now is 190, so that's pretty good. Um for my height and size, I guess that's pretty good. But I'm gonna show you guys how I bench a lot. Um, I think this is. Let's see. So it's just 130 pounds, not really that, but not really all that heavy. But I'm just gonna make it into a chest day today. So, um, yeah. So I'm just gonna go with the little holes right here in the bar. Just these right here. And bench it. Like I'm gonna do incline. I don't have a decline, so I can't really do that. But I'm gonna do incline. I'm gonna try to keep going up each time. But it gets hard trying to get to the very top one. Like after a while it gets hard to push, so I'm gonna try my best and see how this works. So. Okay. Cool. Um. After this, I'm gonna explain to you guys a little something. Um. Uh, the thing I found out was kind of hard to believe, but well, let's we'll see. I'm gonna put this. You guys can see that really well. Um, no, or maybe right there. Okay. It's probably going to get annoying right here, so I'm going to move some of this stuff over. Oh, we're good. I'd have music, but I don't really feel like it right now. Now, I'm gonna move you guys right now. Um, you probably still see it from right here. Yeah, you can see. Um, so, um, a couple of things about benching. What I'm gonna show you guys is you gotta keep your posture straight. So. What you're gonna do is just have your arms maybe shorter width apart and just a little bit over. So you just line your fingers up with the little lines that are on the bar. Which you can tell where they are from right here. So like here's one right here. And then here's one right here. So just line your fingers up like this and then you're gonna push up. Just like that. Um now for beginners, for beginning, because I have I've been benching for uh, since my freshman year in high school. Um, so yeah, that was about four years ago. Four and oh no, five years ago now. So, um, so stop light and then go a little bit higher as you go. Try to increase the weight by five pounds each time, and just. You don't have to go fast. You could go slow, slow paced. Doesn't really take much to like get a good amount of weight to bench. Um, what I recommend for benching, if you don't like to do the bar, um, you can always do dumbbells. That works just as well. You get isolation on both sides of the chest. You can do um, shoulder press with them or military press, whatever you want to call it. Shoulder press. Um, well, yeah, you could do it like that. Um, but the bar and the dumbbells, that's all you need. So, um, you guys are here, but I'm not to start, so. Now, I don't have a spotter, so I'm gonna have to go slow. Um, oh. Guys, just keep the back. It's not. 
about to try to do this. Now, what I recommend is like a good five reps, maybe like three sets, five reps each. Um, maybe a little bit more like four sets of six to ten or six to eight, three sets of five, things like that. So, you do that. Um, and I'm gonna start now. Make sure you have water with you too. Okay. So, um, since I don't have the little clamps on, I'm going to take off the last ones and just put the clamps on. That way you have balance more. With the clamps, it's not like you have more balance, but without them, like you just, just move a little bit. So, I want to be careful with this. Not as careful as I can because really right now it's, the other side's coming off so do it like this. Alright. Now we'll start. So we're about seven minutes into the video. Alright. Now I've heard that if you arch your back, it helps a little bit. So I'm going to try to do that and just see how I get done. So we'll do five. Here we go. One, two, three. go from one set to another set going up the road up the bar itself right here I'm just gonna keep going from there so it might get a little bit harder as I go so I'm gonna take weight off each time all right All I'm doing now is just taking the weight off. I'm gonna move up the bar. So. Alright, so I'm gonna do two sets with this one now and see how it goes. So I'm gonna do two sets of five and hope I get through the fifth one. So um so there's about four, so we'll do four sets, two um two sets for each hole on the bar itself and yeah.
Now what I'm doing is after each set I move my hands either in or out. Right now I had them in so I'm moving them out. And here we go. So one bag counts to three so we'll go one, two, three or three, two, one and then just push out. Basically, this is kind of like burnouts in a way for me since I'm by myself. It's like burnouts um, Burnouts is when you have all the little weights on the bench or on the um, the bar that you'd be like um, Four twin four fives on one side four fives on another just keep doing the um doing bench press until you get certain amount and you take them off each side take one off each side keep going do a certain amount take another one off each side keep going and so on and so on so that's what burnouts are this is like burnouts only I'm moving the bench up instead of the bar itself and I'm moving the um taking weight off each side so Okay, um, so we're done, I want to say, eight sets so far. It's not bad timing, but depending on, like, the type of weight you're doing, also depends on what, how long it's going to take. So, we have one more set for this. Then we're going to move the bar up again, and this time, the last set we're not going to do with the bar, well, I mean, we're not going to put the... Um, bar the weight on right here. We're going to sit up and do chest press like that. So. This has to be the most strenuous workout I've ever done. No, actually, at the gym, actually, at school, in the weight room, it is. I do pretty, pretty hard workouts. Um, like for squatting, I go three plates plus add either 25 and 10s to it, or I do leg press. And I can do up to 545, five, yeah, 545 on it. So, like, it's just really easy, I guess, to do it since it's legs. 
So now scratching oh, the bark. Chest kind of goes like it's tightening, so that's a good sign when you have tightening in the chest. Not like, um, not like if you're having a heart attack or anything, but when the muscles start to tense, that's a good sign. So when it hurts, you know it's working. If it doesn't hurt, then it's not working and you're doing something wrong, but. Okay, let's have room to fix and improve things. So that's a good sign. All right, one more time. Here we go. So that was a real quick chest workout. Um, I'm going to work on my shoulders next and then move on to our um, shoulders and triceps. So, because with big arms comes big triceps, and that's the main part of the arm, most important, or second most important part of the arm, down or besides the bicep. But, um, Real quick, a uh, word of advice. If you want a peak for your bicep, I don't have very big of a peak, but um, do hammer curls. I heard those really work. I did them, I actually do them every time I work on biceps, so. Um, and they really do work. So. Alright, so. This is BBC W721 and David Action Jackson. From Dog and Sauce Productions Fitness. I'll see you guys next time.